Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to be going through a lingually impacted 3.8. So here's the OPG. Fairly difficult tooth this one, uh, I wouldn't recommend it for beginners. Uh, basically the, although the roots are immature it's lingually inclined and uh, that can make it quite difficult. I'm just going to be basically sectioning it into mesial and distal portions like this. Uh, we'll get started. So my f my usual envelope flap that obviously cops a bit of criticism online. Um, it's not a flap again for beginners. I have done this for many years, probably around eight or nine years, and uh, the flap is usually very similar to this. Uh, characteristics are no mesial relieving incision and uh, fairly conservative. So basically, this one here I've brought around to the mesial of the seven. Uh, we're just elevating the flap now and that will expose the underlying bone okay so when we're elevating the lingual bit it's important to stay on bone because of the lingual nerve there okay so once we've exposed enough we can start our bone removal so I'll start mesial first remove a good amount of bone to actually expose the tooth it's still impacted under quite a bit of bone there so this is a fairly wide gutter compared to what I normally do we're going for about two or three mils of bone removal here. I'm basically, because of the lingual inclination of this tooth, once we expose this amount of bone, uh, or sorry, once we remove this amount of bone, we'll be able to see the buccal surface of the tooth quite clearly. The reason I go for a little bit more bone removal on the buccal is so I don't have to do as much on the lingual and hopefully be able to deliver this tooth through the buckle. Now the bone removal goes all the way around to the distal so you have to get rid of all that distal bone especially when you've got two separate roots like this and you can see the buckle gutter there and it extends all the way around to the distal and you can see me just showing the distal there. So a little bit more removal, uh, we saw a bit of distal bone there, just got to get rid of that amount of distal bone. Excellent, so there goes that distal bit of bone. So now I'm going to begin the section. So I'm using the 45 degree head handpiece um, and basically starting the section down near where I think the vacation is, doing a depth cut almost to that vacation and then moving across slowly. So because of the conservative nature of my flap, I really use the angulation of this handpiece to ensure that the soft tissue doesn't get caught. So I'm basically pivoting around an angle and uh, at all times my burr is fairly well visible. With this handpiece and a brand new burr, this section doesn't actually take too long at all. It's uh, almost like a hot knife through butter, the way it can cut tooth. So I've just got a long shank diamond burr uh, on this uh, NSK. 45 degree head handpiece.
So when you're sectioning and you're getting into the vacation, you'll feel the bird drop into the vacation. Now the IDN is fairly, uh, well, is not really close at all here. Um, so it's a fairly safe sort of extraction. Um, I can afford to be a little bit, uh, I guess, conservative with how much of the tooth I actually section um, because of the fact that apical pressure when I'm separating the roots is not a big issue here given the nerve is so far away. So I would probably, you know, the closer the nerve was, the more I'd ensure that the section had happened. So you can see, as I go to split these roots, they're still fairly well uh, moving as one complex. And uh, it eventually splits the distal, so that's fairly quick actually. Um, and just an elevation force on the mesial of that distal root uh, brings it up, and we just deliver it with some diamond tipped forceps. Actually this will just deliver with my luxator so into the fication area and the pulp chamber and the mesial root is just a formality once that distal root has gone. So we just pop the luxator in the mesial, get it up and uh, with this one here I'll use a diamond tip tweezers to ensure good grip. Uh, others like to use an artery forcep and that's just to deliver that mesial root. Excellent. So here is the section roots and thank you very much.